Now, this is a sound that's becoming very familiar. It's a drone, of course, and although they're often seen as a solution to problems, others regard drones as pure nuisance. Now, visitors to the Kilt Rock site on Sky are being told not to fly them during certain months of the year because of nesting birds in the area. Ian McInnes has more. A bird's eye view of the beauty below. Some say they're the best way to see Scotland's stunning scenery. But for others, drones are becoming more and more of a pest. You can sometimes get seven or eight drones up at a time. It's so noisy. Signs now effectively ban the use of drones during certain months of the year, after a number of incidents. At one point I had dolphin literally just under the cliff here and a drone was right on top of them, which is disturbing them. I had golden eagles here uh, two years ago and somebody actually showed me drone footage of chicks on a nest. This tourist came with his drone and we never saw the adults again and the chicks perished. We know it's not a ban, we know we've got not much legal standing to do this, but we think it's an important thing still. Drones are here all the time, all year round, and we're very aware that there's a uh, like hugely important um, nesting birds all along this coastline, so we thought we want to do something about it, so we went and we got these signs made. For those who use drones professionally though, there's already a lot of regulation. But how easy is it to get that message across? to visitors to the country. So all UK flyers now have to be registered with the CAA with a flyer ID and an operator ID. And the only way really that that can be enforced is through signage and education. So maybe it's something that people like Visit Scotland and government agencies should look at um, in terms of putting out educational material for people visiting the Highlands because it's very important that we, you know, we um, promote the Highlands, we promote tourism and we get that imagery out there. Um, but at the same time, it needs to be captured responsibly. You've got to be fair to the people who come here. You know, it's a beautiful area. They do want to take pictures of the waterfall with a drone from the sea, but it's just being responsible. Kilt Rock is clearly a special place in a special area, but the community here hope that people will leave not just with their memories of this place, but with the message of responsible tourism. Ian McInnes, Reporting Scotland.